ABC News investigation here that emergency call to 911 when every second counts. So many first responders saving us, but caught on tape tonight, some operators hanging up on families in need. ABC senior national correspondent Jim Avila. They are the people who answer the call. Hi, um, my infant son is locked in the car in a parking lot. But sometimes there's a disconnect. In Tampa, listen to the 911 operator's answer. They won't be able to, to, to try to gain access to the car unless the child is in some kind of distress. And in Michigan, a desperate daughter calls while watching her father having a brain seizure. 911. I need an ambulance to drive heart rate. Well, okay, first of all, you don't need to swear over 911. Okay. And slow down. Ambulance. 911. Are you going to give me an ambulance? Are you going to swear ambulance? again, you stupid? The 911 operator was suspended for two weeks. And in Washington, D.C., the lack of help had tragic consequences. She's not uh, Medrick Mills, taking his daughter Marie to the computer store, suffers a heart attack. And he kind of falls next to the... Falls next to the car, yes. Luck of all luck, right across the street, engine house 26 of the Washington, D.C. Fire Department. But their ambulance is on another call, so 911 sends a different EMT crew, mistakenly to a wrong address. Meanwhile, inside that nearby firehouse, five firefighters with life-saving equipment. But despite Marie's pleas, no one comes to help. When someone knocks on the door and says there's an incident across the street, they should have responded immediately. Medrick Mills died. The lieutenant in charge retired with full pension. The most anyone else got was a 60-hour suspension. Jim Avila, ABC News, Washington.